In this video, I'm going to give you guys step-by-step -step full YouTube course for 2024. I'm going to show you guys all the information that you need to go from zero to hero after watching this video. And also, everything is going to be 100% free. I'm not going to charge you for anything. The only thing that I want to ask you guys in return is to press that like button and subscribe. It is 100% free. All right, so let's start with overview of the course. So what you can expect from this. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys why this is the best time for beginners to start YouTube and why it is the easiest time. All right, so let's start with overview of this YouTube course. So first of all, I'm going to explain you guys why this is the best time for beginners to start YouTube and why it is the easiest time to grow your YouTube channel from zero. Second, I'm going to show you guys YouTube terminology that you need to know if you want to be in this YouTube game. Third, I'm going to show you guys how YouTube algorithm works because this is maybe 60 or 70% of the YouTube game. So you want to understand how YouTube algorithm works. Fourth, I'm going to show you guys how to get views to your YouTube videos even if you start with zero subscribers. Fifth, I'm going to show you guys what you should avoid and what doesn't work in 2024. So this is really important before you jump in any niche, you want to understand what does work and what doesn't work. Sixth, I'm going to show you guys the best way to monetize your YouTube channel in 2024 because there are some differences and I really wanted to show you guys what should you do to grow your YouTube channel and also grow your income from your YouTube channel. And seventh, the topics for your YouTube channel. So what should you choose? What niches should you choose? And what are the most profitable ones? A lot of you guys are going to ask me, who am I to talk about how to grow on YouTube, how to get subscribers and so on. So basically how to make money from YouTube also. So I actually own six different YouTube channels from 45,000 subscribers up to 600 and something thousand subscribers. And also I have generated over 600 million combined views on all of these channels. And the one that you're watching right now has probably around 160,000 subscribers or something like that, and maybe a few million views. So I actually know what I'm talking about. I have also made a lot of money from YouTube. You can check it on hiring.com. Uh, I have shown you guys some of the income just from YouTube AdSense how much money I have made from my YouTube channel. So if you want, you can check it out. The link will be down in the description. You can see how much money I have made from YouTube one YouTube channel just from AdSense alone. I'm also in the game for over eight years or so, maybe even more than eight years. And I actually uh, have watched how YouTube progressed over the time. And I know what actually works and doesn't work. So highly recommend you guys to watch this video till end or this course till end. All right, so let's start from beginning. So why you should start YouTube channel in 2024. So first of all, what you need to know is this, that subscribers doesn't matter. So the reason why subscribers doesn't matter is even if you have maybe million subscribers, you can get only 10 views per video. It really depends on YouTube algorithm. So if you have maybe zero subscribers, you can get millions of views. And I'm going to explain you guys a little bit later why this is uh, like this. But basically, if you have, for example, high watch time on your videos and a lot of people are clicking on your thumbnail to watch your videos, if you provide some value, that is how you can get millions of views, even if you don't have a lot of subscribers. So second reason to start YouTube channel is attention economy. So why it is really important to have attention in 2024. So if you have some views that it basically equals money. Even if you're selling some products, even if you're selling digital or physical products, even if you own the business, you need to have a YouTube channel and not just a YouTube channel, basically any other social media platform where you can go and grow and basically attract some of the attention from the market and sell your products. Third reason is YouTube is second largest search engine. So that means billions of people are coming to YouTube and you can basically get a lot of attention there. You can also get passive income. This is really important because 
uh, for some of my YouTube channels, I don't even need to upload any videos anymore and I'm still going to earn income from those channels. So once you go and create, for example, a YouTube video that provides value, you're going to get uh, views regardless if you upload more videos or not. Fifth is you can go and build a community. So this is also really important. If you go and build a community around the product that you're selling or around service that you're building or anything like that, you can go and get a community of loyal people uh, which are going to buy the products or maybe even recommend the products to other members or family members or maybe friends. So this is also really important. So let's start also with terms that you need to know. So these are the terms in YouTube that you should know. And I highly recommend you guys to watch this. Don't skip this because uh, this is something that a lot of people made mistakes. So impressions, what are impressions? So how many times YouTube thumbnails were shown to the viewers on YouTube? For example, I'm on YouTube right now. And regardless if I click on this video or not, I have made an impression of this thumbnail. So basically I have seen this thumbnail right here. And if I go and click and watch the video, that is going to uh, be active impression. But if I just go and skip through this, uh, this is going to record as one impression, regardless if I'm going to watch the video or not. So impressions are really important. And I'm going to explain you guys uh, a little bit later. Why is that? Second thing. Uh, click-through rate or CTR. This is number of clicks divided by number of impressions. To explain you guys what this means is, for example, this video right here uh, from Iman Gazi or how you pronounce his name, uh, let's say he has 640,000 views. Uh, but uh, how many people actually uh, seen this thumbnail and not clicked? Let's say maybe around uh, 6 million people saw this thumbnail, but only 10% of that 6 million clicked on this video. And that is equaled 600,000 views. So basically CTR is how many times people clicked on the thumbnail and watched the video. So this is an example of 7.2% click to rate on one of my videos. And this is an example of impressions. So I think for this video right here that I've got 7 million uh, impressions, I've got around maybe 1 million views or something like that. So that is basically 7 million and uh, 300,000 divide, divided by, let's say, 7%. That is around 1 million views. Third thing, sorry, CTR, we have talked about this, views. So users intentionally watched your video longer than 30 seconds is counted as view. And also views can be counted even if you get, for example, um, two times someone watched your video. Uh, for example, if I watched your video today and let's say some music, if I watched the music video today and I watch it five days later, that is going to count as two different views. But if you go and, for example, refresh the page, that is not going to be counted as view. So again, you can see uh, you can see views right here, 600,000, for example. Uh, but uh, how many people actually clicked on the thumbnail? For example, you've got se 7 million impressions. Click to rate is six, uh, 7%. Uh, and you've got, for example, 700,000 views. That is just an example. This is the terminology that you need to understand before you jump in in YouTube game. So watch time. This is really important factor. I'm also going to explain you guys this a little bit later, why watch time and click to rate and impressions are really important in YouTube algorithm. But what is watch time? Total uh, accumulated amount of time uh, people have spent watching your video. So again, example, uh, let's see some of these YouTube videos right here. Uh, let's say this video right here is three hours long. And if one of you watched this whole video, that would be three hours of watch time. But for example, this video right here is only 12 minutes long. And if someone watched um, on the full video, it would be only 12 minutes. But if someone watched, for example, 10 different people watched whole video, that would be two hours uh, of watch time. 
So even if this video has 10 views and they watched the whole video, but this video only got one view, it would still have a more watch time. So that is why sometimes you want to create longer videos and grab that attention and hold people watching your videos because that is how you're going to grow your watch time and that is going to provide YouTube with information that you provide actually quality content that people actually want to watch and you have a lot of information in that. Also, what you need to understand is average view duration. duration. So basically, that is total uh, watch time of your video divided by number of people uh, that uh, watch your video. So uh, if you make, for example, we have talked about this, you have a free hour video. This uh, video right here has probably a low percentage of watch time because not a lot of people are going to stick for free hours of content. So maybe you want to create some of the videos that uh, are longer, but if you can't grab that attention, if you can't keep viewers watching, then you want to make it a little bit shorter also. So you want to go and have high percentage of watch time. And if you, for example, have a three hour video and your average watch time is one video, or oh, sorry, one minute, that is basically the worst case scenario your a video is going to get ghosted very fast on YouTube. So average uh, view duration is really important. Um, this video right here uh, that I have three minutes and to 28 seconds, that is 28 seconds long. This is, I think, around 12 minute video. So basically the watch time or percentage of watch time is around 20% or something like that. This is not very great but not that bad also. It really depends what type of content you create. And of course, estimated revenue. So that, that is a revenue from all the revenue types, including your channel memberships, YouTube Premium. So here we can actually see how much money you can make uh, from your YouTube video. Now, it really depends on what niche you're in. You can make, for example, $600 from 10,000 views, but you can also make $600 from 1 million views. It really depends what niche you're in. I also want to explain you guys why subscribers doesn't matter in 2024. This is a really great example of a YouTube channel that I have found maybe two or three days ago, and I wanted to share with you guys because I think this is really important. So not really subscribers that doesn't matter. They do matter a little bit because if you go and subscribe to someone's YouTube channel, but you never watch their content again, that is really a bad subscriber that is hurting the YouTube algo. And you want to go and create the community of, for example, subscribers that actually want to click on your video that when they are subscribed. If they just ignore the video, that is basically bad subscriber that is hurting your YouTube channel. So again, this is an example of a YouTube channel that has only 598 subscribers, but you can see he's generating 680,000 uh, views in 10 days. This video right here has uh, over, you can see over 580,000 views in two weeks. And this one has over 600,000 views in one month. So how is this guy getting views? He's providing something funny uh, that is around the famous singer Drake. And I want to explain you guys why this video is actually gets this many views and how this actually works. So basically what this channel has done, uh, he used familiar face, that is Drake. And he is using him basically to post content uh, around him and people are seeing familiar face. Once you upload your video, for example, uh, people are going to see, YouTube is going to recommend, for example, 2000 people uh, of your thumbnail or your video. If people see familiar face uh, and they, you can see basically how stupid titles are, they don't make any sense, but people are going to see uh, to uh, YouTube thumbnail that they recommend this face and they think it is funny. So they click on the video. Now let's go back on explaining what is uh, impressions and click to rate. So right here, click to rate and impressions. Let's say first YouTube pushes 1000 impressions to your video, but you have high click to rate. That is going to tell YouTube that this video actually matters 
and they are going to recommend to more people. Even if more people go and click on your thumbnail and they watch the video, you have high watch time on your video, it is going to recommend even more. And that is basically how this game works and why this is, um, this is a topic or a YouTube channel that is getting a lot of views, even if they started with zero subscribers. So and subscribers doesn't actually matter in 2024. You just need to find the hot topic and just stick to it and grow your YouTube channel that way. So that is why actually YouTube subscribers doesn't matter. But why? Let's explain the YouTube algo. So how YouTube algorithm works, why some videos get a lot of views, why some of the videos don't get a lot of views. So you can see right here, first, watch time of the video and engagement. So if you have high watch time percentage of the watch time of the video, that is what actually is telling YouTube that your video matters and it is going to get recommended. This channel authority, I don't really think that does really matter because in 2024, that doesn't make any sense. Any YouTube channel out there can blow up overnight. Video relevance. So if again, this is a relevant video because Drake is famous singer. Uh, millions of people are fans and they're going to see a familiar face and they're going to click on it. If you find the topic that is actually relevant to this moment, you can generate views or thousands or millions of views on your videos, even if you have zero subscribers. You know, click through rate, that is how many people are seeing your video. Anything below five click through rate. So let's say 100 people saw your thumbnail and only five people click on it. Anything below five is bad click through rate. So you need to play with thumbnails. You can see <laughs> how these guys uh, creating these uh, weird looking thumbnails. And this is grabbing people's attention. And that is why they're clicking on the video and why these videos are getting a lot of views. Uh, user retention. So that is basically watch time. So if you can keep your viewer watching for how long is your uh, video. If you get, for example, 50% uh, watch time that is really important and that is going to tell YouTube that your content matters. So that is why I recommend you guys to keep uh, in mind this click to rate, watch time and engagement and user retention. So if you get high user retention, that is going to be a uh, recommended as quality video. Video quality six, this doesn't really matter. Only thing that matters if your user is having good experience with your YouTube video. That is only thing that matters. And video metadata optimization, I don't really think that this works anymore in 2024. I think that, again, watch time, click to rate, user retention, and engagement is the king of this game. So, to make it simplified, how this works. Uh, first of all, you get clicks. So, basically, click on your thumbnail. So, someone clicked on your video or your thumbnail. Second, they watched the video. They actually watched it. You have, for example, 10 minute video and 100 people watch your video and you have, for example, 50% retention. So 50% of the video is actually watched uh, with this 100%, uh, sorry, 100 people, 50% of them watched the whole video. So this is a high retention and you're going to get high watch time and that is what is really telling YouTube algo that your YouTube video matters. Engagement. So will that person uh, send YouTube positive uh, signal that they're happy or enjoyed your video? So when someone likes your video, when someone subscribes to your channel, these are the positive uh, things that are happening uh, on your video. And when someone leaves a comment, I think that this is really underrated. When someone is leaving a comment on your YouTube video, that is telling them uh, or telling YouTube also that someone is actually going to log in on their, their YouTube account. They're going to type the comment that is really green flag for YouTube. And comments are really important in YouTube algo, in my opinion, because that is the biggest engagement out there that someone can do. Maybe sharing the video is also great, but commenting on the video is really important. We also want to talk about picking the right niche in 2024. So there are tons of different niches that you can start with, but I really love 
these niches that I have um, created for you guys. So, for example, gaming, finance, fitness, gadgets, beauty, cooking, travel. Now, what you need to understand is all of these niches have different uh, RPM. So, basically, what is uh, RPM? Revenue per thousand views, let's say. Uh, so, for example, for every thousand views in gaming niche, you can expect to make around three dollars or something like that. It really depends uh, on what niche and country your view is coming from. So, let's say on average, gaming three dollars, finance are from ten dollars up to fifty dollars, fitness from ten dollars to twenty dollars, gadgets from five dollars to fifteen dollars, beauty, let's say around seven dollars, I think. Uh, cooking, I'm not 100% sure. Travel is also a really expensive niche. Health, music, make money online, also great niche. Lifestyle, pets, animals, AI content, also great niche. Comedy, uh, tutorials, marketing, cars, education, vlogs, and entertainment. So vlogs and entertainment, I think they have really lower uh, earnings per thousand views or revenue per thousand views. But these are some of the biggest, bigger ones, finance, for example. You don't need a lot of views to get a decent income from your YouTube channel. It is much harder to earn uh, through vlogs, for example, $5,000 per month than with finance. So I would recommend you guys to pick the niche that you're interested in, but you just need to check out what are the best niches for you because you want to focus on the highest paying niche uh, in uh, the game because it is much easier to get lower views but to get more money per thousand views than getting millions of views and i also want to recommend you guys to always do a niche research so how you can do that you want to go on youtube for example and you want to search for example let's say health or how to lose weight wait let's say how to lose weight what you want to do is you want to see if there are some videos that are getting a lot of views so for example this video has 7 million views uh, sorry 12 million views in 7 years ago it was posted uh, this is a lot of views but you want to see if there are newer videos so for example this one has uh, in 4 weeks 140,000 views so that is a lot of views this one has in uh, two years, 4.7, 4.6 million views. This one has 1.6. So what is this telling us? If you have found, for example, a YouTube channel that has over 100,000 subscribers in your niche, that is a good niche to jump in. And I would also jump in the niches that are proven to work. Is it great to be innovator and find some different niche that no one is in yet? Yes, but it is really hard to do. So I would recommend you guys to do what actually works. So, for example, I know health and fitness is one of the biggest niches out there, but you always want to go and check out if you want to do a certain gaming niche. So, for example, if you want to go and do a Fortnite niche, you want to go on YouTube and type in Fortnite and you want to see that if there are a lot of people in the, this uh, community, you can see Fortnite has 12 million uh, subscribers uh, on their YouTube channel. Of course, this is one of the biggest games out there, but sometimes you're going to do a research for a game that is not very popular and you don't want to jump in that niche is the, if that makes any sense. So make sure to jump in the niches that actually uh, works out there. Now, let's talk about what should you avoid. You want to avoid trash AI content. So what is actually trash AI content? So what people usually do is they go and jump in on these uh, platforms like NVIDIA. This is a great AI tool. I love using NVIDIA. But what people actually do is they just go on this AI tool. They type in, create me a content around, let's say, diving. This is diving video. That is why I say diving. Uh, so you jump in, create uh, a diving video for YouTube, click on create. Yes, this is great. But your video is probably going to be, uh, this video is not going to provide any value. So if this video doesn't provide any value, you're going to have a low watch time and that is going to be bad for your YouTube channel. So if you have a low watch time on your videos, that is going to be very, very bad and it doesn't provide any value and your video is going to get ghosted very fast. 
A lot of people are saying you can't monetize AI content. That is not true. But if you don't provide any value or entertainment in the video, it is going to get ghosted and you're not going to get any views. Now, second one is Creative Commons in 2024. This is really bad, guys. And I'm going to explain you guys why. So first of all, what we did, for example, in 2022 or 2021, uh, what you can do is you can go and type in for dog, for example. Now, dog is really a big niche because a lot of people own pets. They love dogs. So what we used to do, we used to create, for example, dog compilation. And you can see right here, for example, this video has uh, 3.4 million views. This one has uh, 120,000 views, uh, 15 million views, and so on. Now, what is happening right now? You can't make any money in this niche. Now, why? Because we used to go on, for example, a dog on YouTube and type in dog copulation, and we used to click on filters right here. And we used to click on creative comments. Now, all the videos that are listed under creative comments, that means that the reuse of the video is allowed. So, for example, we go and click on this video right here. We, say, we see this video is cute, this is a great video, but what can people do is they can go and steal the content that is not under Creative Commons, and they go and re-upload it and list it as Creative Commons. Now, this is going to be very bad for your YouTube channel, because you're going to get strikes, you're going to get reported and so on for stealing content. Now, once that is going to happen, you're not going to grow your YouTube channel and you're probably not going to make any money. Now, you can see this video right here is under Creative Commons uh, and it has 21 million views, but sometimes you're, not, you're going to get uh, that copyright strike. So that is something I don't recommend anymore. You can see right here, License, Creative con uh, Commons, Attribution License, so Reuse is allowed. So you can go and reuse this video uh, but we know, for example, this girl is the owner of this YouTube channel. So this video is probably safe for reuse. But 99% of the videos right here that you see are probably not under Creative Commons because the owner is not the guy that published this content. So there can be some problems once you get bigger. So I would actually uh, avoid Creative Commons in 2024. Also, stealing and re-uploading content. So, what I also saw in, for example, 2019 or something like that, people used to make uh, money. Like, they would go, for example, on Logan Paul YouTube channel, they would click on his content, and they would just steal the content. So, how this works. They go and click on the videos right here, they just go and download his video and re-upload it on their YouTube channel. Now, they're going to get some views. For example, in 2019, they used to get 100,000 views on per video. But right now, stealing content is going to be very bad for your YouTube channel. You're going to get strikes. You're going to get uh, maybe lawsuits or something like that if you grow big. So I don't recommend stealing content that is going to hurt you so bad in 2024. Buying views like subscribers and comments. This doesn't make any sense. Now, why? buying views if you go and buy views uh, youtube is not going to know what your video is about and where they should recommend your video so that is going to hurt your channel if you even if you get 100 uh, million views on your youtube ch channel or your youtube video this doesn't make uh, any sense or this doesn't matter because youtube doesn't know what your video is about and they know that you just bought some fake views so that this doesn't help ranking or anything like that. Subscribers, again, I have talked about why subscribers doesn't matter. And if you have a lot of subscribers and they don't actually care a lot about your content, or basically in this case scenario, they're just bots, this is going to hurt your YouTube channel. Likes and comments, again, doesn't matter because this doesn't provide any signals to YouTube that your content should be recommended. Now, what to do to grow your YouTube channel? You want to post regularly. So what this means is you want to post, uh, for example, once a week at least. But if you provide high quality, for example, Mr. Beast, uh, you can go with one 
video per month. Right here, if you go on YouTube and type in Mr. Beast, you're going to see that he probably uploads maybe one once or twice per month. I didn't expect him to provide like four videos in one month, but you can see he's providing high quality content that uh, requires a lot of editing, money spent, and so on. So you can get um, you can get why he can get away with, for example, one video per month because he's going to get 100 million views on that video, and he's probably going to keep getting millions of views on his video even if you uh, just upload one video per month. So that is why he can get away with that. But if you don't provide this type of content, you should probably uh, upload at least once a week. So I would try to maybe upload a few times a week, but once a week is at least for a small creator. Now you want to create also great thumbnails for high CTR. Now how to know if your thumbnail is going to get high CTR? You need to do testing. There is no other way. You need to test different thumbnails. You're sometimes going to get 2% CTR. Sometimes you're going to go and get 10%. So once you get, for example, this higher percentage of people that are clicking on your thumbnails, like for example, you can see Mr. Beast, you want to click on his thumbnail. You want to click and see what this video is about. This really attracts people to click on his videos. And you can see how amazing these thumbnails are. So you want to go and do a testing. Uh, you want to see if you want to upload um, with your face or not. What should you put in your thumbnail and what gets most of people's attention. So you want to go and focus on creating uh, high CTR thumbnails. That is really important in today's YouTube game. Now you want to go and keep the people watching. So once you go and create content, even if you get high CTR, even if you get everything that we talked about, but people only watch maybe 20 seconds of the video that is 18 minutes long. Let's say this video gets only 20 seconds. Um, that on average, people watch only 20 seconds of this content. Your video is going to get ghosted. Now you need to keep uh, the people watching your videos. You need to keep them entertained or provide value. And that is how you can go and grow your YouTube channel and jump in YouTube algo and start getting um, a lot of views. Now you also want to ask viewers to like, share and subscribe for engagement. Now I'm asking you guys to like this video, share it with your friends if you, someone is interested in uh, this type of content and also make sure to subscribe if you want to see in the future uh, how to make money online, how to make money on YouTube. So if this is something that you're interested in, you want to go and subscribe and help this video out. Now, there is also a talk how you can go and monetize your videos. Now, first of all, there is YouTube ads. Everyone knows about YouTube ads, but that is not the best way to make money in 2024. It wasn't even best way to make money on YouTube even in 2020. Now, YouTube ads um, have some limitations like before, you needed to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, but they actually reduced this to 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours. So this is really great because a lot of people can now go and get uh, some views and subscribers and monetize their YouTube channel with ads. Now, second one is create paid community. Now, this is really great value. Because if you go and provide pay community like school, now right here you can see we are on school website. And once you go on and create your paid uh, monthly membership community, you can make a lot of money. Now school, you can sign up through link in the description. And I recommend you guys to start your community right now. You're going to get 14 days for free to use school. And I'm going to explain you guys how fast this can add up. So for example, uh, this school member created this group. This is a girl and she created this group. Now, this group has 8,000 members that are paying monthly to be in this group. Now, let's go and calculate how much money she gets for, for doing this. Now, right here, we can sign up for uh, her community. Let's click join and see how much money is it. So it is 
$47 per month. Now, if you go and calculate $47 times 8,000, let's do that. So $47 times 8,000 people in the group, this girl is making $376,000 per month just from uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, from her community on school. So that is how fast it can add up. Even if you get, for example, 100 people, let's say you have 100 uh, paying members, 100 times, let's say $47, that is $4,700 per month just from this school community. So I highly recommend you guys to sign up for school. You can sign up. The link will be down in the description and you can see what is this about and how you can also make money from this. There is going to include some debate course that is going to be for free if you sign up through link down in the description and you can see how you can go and start your community and how this works. Now, third way to monetize your YouTube channel is affiliate marketing. You can sell other people's products for commissions. Now you can go and sell, for example, services, digital products, physical products, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the examples of the biggest marketplaces out there. So for example, Digistore24, 100% free to sign up. So yeah, I need to be signed up for these Digistore24 to show you guys their products. It is probably the same for ClickBank. Now these are one of the largest um, one of the largest affiliate marketing networks where you can sign up, you can see uh, ClickBank has over 100,000 uh, affiliates just like you, and they've got paid over $6.2 billion in commissions. Now you can go and check out some of these um, marketplaces right here where you can find and sell digital products, or you can jump in on OfferWalt. Now what is OfferWalt? They have tons of different affiliate mar marketing networks. Like when you click right here on networks, you can see there are tons of different ones uh, where you can go and do your own research through these affiliate marketing networks. Now, let's say you want to promote health product. You want to uh, type in health and you're going to see, for example, this health insurance is going to pay you per call up to $1,000. So this is in United States. If you go and create, for example, a YouTube channel around health insurance and you recommend this, for example, um, this service right here, you're going to get paid $1,000 pay per call. So when someone calls this agency to sign up for a health insurance, you're going to get paid $1,000. Let's say you get one, uh, one sale or one call per day, you don't need to, again, talk on the phone. You're going to recommend this service. They're going to call the sales team of this product. And if they close the deal, you're going to get paid. That is how pay per call works. And let's say you get uh, one sale per day or one call per day. That is $30,000 just from this. So 30 people paid uh, $1,000 you get paid $30,000. That is how this works. It is really simple. Now, again, OfferWalt is really a great website where you can go and do a research uh, through these different offers that uh, you can sign up and promote them. Now, that is one of the ways how you can go and make some money uh, with a YouTube channel. Fourth one is sell software as service. If you build your own software or you have your own product, you can go and promote them on YouTube channel and make money that way. Now, that is it for today's video, guys. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, like the content, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And also, I have a paid YouTube course. Now, if you want to sign up for this YouTube course, I have helped over 1,000 people build their YouTube automation business. I have made, again, multiple six figures, seven figures, uh, to YouTube and I recommend you guys to check out this video right here where I talked about how I made from 10 million views $102,000 just from YouTube ads. We're not talking about paid sponsorships or selling products or tons of different stuff just from YouTube ads and you can see I have helped again over 1,000 people. Here are some of the testimonials of the people that I have helped 
Uh, you can see this channel has over 100, 160,000 subscribers. This one has over 200,000 subscribers. Now, if you want to check that out, the link will be down in the description. 